Hello everybody, it's Sylvie, welcome back. I hope you're doing good. Today we're doing, um, yes, another unboxing. I swear all I'm doing is unboxing at the moment and I don't know quite how that's happening, but this is deeply exciting for me because this is my first make playing cards order. And it was prompted by this deck, which is um, the, it's the Crow's Magic Tarot, which is an out of print deck. And ooh, I've forgotten her name, but she like scanned it in and then put it up on Make Playing Cards. So of course I jumped on this because the Crow's Magic is a deck that has been on my wish list, like my like mental out of print deck wish list for ages, years, a really long time. So I jumped on that and then because shipping from Make Playing Cards is quite expensive, I bought two more decks and we're gonna talk through those today. I feel like I didn't do an intro. I was so excited to get to the unboxing. Hello, it's Sylvie, welcome back. I hope you're doing good. I did say all that, didn't I? Who knows? Anyways, let's not ramble more than we have to. We're dusty. So I got the Crow's Magic, I got the Hellenic Oracle, I got the Rain Coast. Okay. Oh, this always stresses me out when they're shrink wrapped. I got this without a box because I'm cheap. Um, and I'm like, surely I have a spare pouch or bag or scarf somewhere. Anyways, so this is a yeah, like I say, it's not a it's not a reprint of an out-of-print deck because it's not officially printed, but it's Oh, I'm so excited. So yes, this is a, I guess, facsimile of the Crow's Magic Tarot, which, was it a US Games deck? Ooh, I'm excited. These are our backs. I think the main differences between this and the, like, original published deck is um, this deck has no borders. I went for the edition with all of the, like, astrology on it because I wanted as close to the original as possible and um, there were also I think editions with like tins in but I think oh I think she only had this up for like a month so it might not be available anymore but I'm excited and I want to talk about it so uh this is just I'm gonna keep her in order I think this is a weird deck and I love a weird deck I love a crow deck oh I like the keywords High Priestess, that's a Necromancer. That is a gorgeous Empress. I'm gonna try not to get too chatty because I have three decks to unbox and my last unboxing was two decks and it was like an hour long so we're gonna try and be a bit more rapid fire. Um, so we've got Justice as number eight. Oh, I like that Hermit a lot. I really like the art style of this. I feel like this, um, like the style of like rendering a lot of it is feeling like 90s, early 2000s computer graphics, which is a whole vibe. If you saw my summer decks video, I've got uh, the Feldman Sisters, the Voyager Tarot and the Sustain Yourself Oracle, all for that kind of reason. This Hanged Man is fantastic. Um, so I don't know if they'll pair nicely, they might do. I like chemistry and fusion as keywords for temperance. I really like the keywords on here in general, actually. I think this is gonna go in the, in my mental pile of, this tower is fantastic, my mental pile of um, tarot decks to use as Oracle. Power and Genesis for the sun, I like that. Four of those for judgment. Okay, so into the cups. This is my first ever make playing cards, and um, this cardstock is really nice. I think it's that like standard smooth cardstock. So the miners are definitely fairly like pippish. And so I think it's going to be extra good to have the keywords on there. And then we've got this weird like abstract graphics. 
See, that's not what I would usually associate with the Eight of Cups, is this like hermit crab and shy and timid. So that's interesting. I don't know if the deck, when it was originally published, came with a guidebook. This obviously doesn't, this edition. Um, what have we got? Okay, no, they're not salamanders, they're just lizards, but that's interesting. So these are our coins. That's a good four of coins, definitely. I like the books here in that eight of coins. Knowledge and insight. Harmony and chemistry for the nine of coins is also a really interesting couple of keywords. And I like especially having keywords in the court cards because I struggle with court cards. Dedicated and adamant for the king of coins, I like that. We're into the swords, my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, like this texture is so, oh, do you know what, it's it's giving me, like I say, like 90s, 2000s computer graphics. It's also giving, oh, the text, so yeah, smooth is right, it's quite slippy. Um, if you played The Sims 3 and the um, way you could like retexture, clothes and objects and stuff a lot of the textures in that was very like 90s 2000s graphic style of textures and that's also what this is really reminding me of maybe that's why I find that style of art so nostalgic crucified and tortured for the nine of swords wow that's intense it's not wrong but it's intense I love a bat I love a bat in a tarot deck Captivation and I'm assuming entrance rather than entrance for the Page of Swords. Intent and hunger for the Knight of Swords. I really like that. I like these snowflake shapes in the background as well. This is sliding like crazy. <laughs> Queen of Swords. And our King of Swords. And finally our one suit. A lot of like, I like the color palette. Oh, the color palette in um each of the suits as well. I do like a kind of color themed suit. Turmoil and disorder for the five of wands. I like that. Dazed and confused for the nine of wands. Oh, do you know what? That's pretty apt. I actually really like that. Oh, I like this page. Actually, do you know what? I quite like the attitude of all the pages. Like, the keywords have been really interesting. Shape, shift, and change for the knight. Heroes and calculate the queens. That's our king. Actually, do you know what? I kind of want to play with some pairs. Bear with me, I say, as though I'm not going to edit this. This is um, obviously the crazy magic, and then this is the... Uh, Voyager Tarot. Um, like I mentioned, they both have a similar kind of, well, they both give me a, like, similar vibe in that they both look badly done with Microsoft Word, which, you know, I don't mean as a bad thing. And I don't, I don't know about these. But then, like, I think it looks a little bit too chaotic. Although I do like the contrast of these borders with the black of the crow's magic. I'm not sure. Maybe. But I'm leaning towards it's a bit it's a bit too chaotic. I wonder about the keywords though. We've got diviner and sage and then sensor. Lunacy and delusion with the lover. <laughs> Lunacy and delusion with the lovers. Oh, love that. Um, turmoil and disorder. Regenerator. I'm going to be honest, I've forgotten what of the court the sage is supposed to represent. Oh, let me have a sage again. Uh, sage and mentor with the fool child. Do you know what? I like this with the um, keywords. Anchor and essence with trust. That's nice elusive, mythical, and integrity. Didn't we have the Nine of Wands somewhere in here? Or am I just 
Am I inventing things? Yeah, and dazed and confused for the Nine of Wands with the Crow's Magic, and then Integrity with the Voyager. I quite like this, you know. I think actually on a, on a keyword basis, I like this a lot more. Focusing on the keywords rather than the artwork, which again, using Tarot's Oracle is something that I'm like leaning more into. Um, but in the same vein as the Voyager, I've also got the Sustain Yourself Oracle. Maybe, maybe the keywords will be good here also. Again, similar like artistic energy, <laughs> in my opinion. Elusive and mystical with ignition. Totality and wholeness with choice. I like that. I like the three of coins with harvest. Imagination and ability with harvest. That's interesting. Internal self and then like interconnected web. I really like that. I like this visually as well this particular pairing. I think the art on this is just as chaotic as the art for the um, Voyager Tarot, maybe? Bliss and comfort. Imagination, mm, not so sure. Cells and self-creation with the Four of Swords and like restore and rejuvenate with like the way that cells obviously divide and like replicate. I quite like that. I think visually this works better than the Voyager. Maybe it's just the cards that have been leaping out at me, but I think it works better. Fungus and deep composition. Decomposition with the Five of Cups with distance. Mm, not quite, but like there's something there. Dead fish. This is a really, this deck is just, it's funny. <laughs> If I was doing that comical cards tag, I would for sure pull out several cards in this deck. Um, exceed and surpass with death and dead fish. That's a, um, that's an opposition if ever I saw one. Seven of Swords, Cultivate, do you know what? Grasslands with like the traditional, um, no, not Seven of Swords. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of the Seven of Pentacles because Cultivate and Prolific make more sense. For the Seven of Pentacles, but the Seven of Swords with Cultivate, with Prolific, with Provide. Mm. The um the keywords are good, definitely. Yeah. So that was the Sustain Yourself Oracle. Oh, I just intuition darkness. Oh, that's a good card. Um, I mentioned in my um Cancer wrap up, which I have just filmed that I've been really enjoying this deck in place of like tarot. So I feel like kind of almost using this as tarot and using this as oracle in a, in a way might be something interesting to explore. Okay, so just because this is the crow's magic, I feel like I have to try it with MJ Kalanane's crow decks. Um, I'm not sure aesthetically it's gonna, look at that, the fool, fool is on top, love to see it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure aesthetically it's gonna do the trick for me, but we'll see we'll see but like because it's crows we, we got it right we got it mm. I think the I don't oh I don't I don't know okay well that's nice <laughs> all the cups I can't decide whether the art styles work or whether they like seriously don't the color palettes are completely different but because it's like they this is like digitally digitally manipulated as an art style that's that's mj's art style calling her mj as though we're pals um <laughs> hey nine of ones and nine of ones like, maybe it works? I'm not sure. Let's try the oracle. I think the oracle is, is maybe less likely to work, but then I think a lot of the oracle cards have a kind of um, darker tone 
like it's the opposite of like a fluffy oracle deck. Trapped, confined, wrath. I like the visual of this with the Eight of Swords actually. Maybe it does work, but then maybe it doesn't. Territory and the King of, well, I feel like the King works with any territory card, doesn't it? Anticipation with the moon, lunacy and delusion. I'm not sure about that. Turmoil and disorder with protection. Yeah, not convinced by the Oracle. But like the tarot decks worked better than I expected actually. I just thought because they're both, um, because it's all crows. I was like, well, I have to give it a try. Ah, the Queen of Swords and Trickery. Yeah, this one not so much. Okay, and then also in this like artistic vibe, I've got a Feldman Sisters tarot, which was a tarot, oh, tarot I backed on Kickstarter, um, but I think is purchasable without having backed it. And this makes perfect sense artistically, in my opinion, very similar like styles. Five of coins, concern, complexity with the, what is this? Seven of wands? Yeah. <laughs> concern and complexity with the seven of wands. I like the way they look together though. Crucified, tortured, four of cups. Do you know what? I like this visual a lot. We've got like the chain here and then this like barbed wire and the way this is all like locked up looking. Five of Swords, Distress, Confusion. I like the way these figures kind of almost like mirror each other or like parallel each other. I like this artistically a lot. And again, like this kind of mirrors like this. Oh, are we centered? Not really, sorry. I dearly hope this is focusing correctly. Ingenious, savvy with the Den of Swords. Draconian and Forceful Tower. Come on. Oh, with the Hangman. Like, oh, these are just working so well visually together, I think, anyway. Like, again, they kind of got this figure like here and here and then all this going on and all this going on like it really works and this like yellow in the center with the ones surrounding and the cups surrounding this is just working so well I really like this shy and timid with the ace of pentacles the devil and the sun Magnetism and law, law, law. <laughs> I really like those keywords for the devil actually. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna just flip through all of them at this rate, but I really like this. So this is a Feldman Sisters and the Crow's Magic. I like those together visually. I have no idea how they'll read next to each other, but visually I like them. And then like while we're playing. I had put the, previously I've put the Feldman sisters next to um, the, where is it? Oh, the Mystic Martian Oracle. Ooh. And I have no idea, mainly because I think the backs are super cool. And I think it's going to be too much to have all of these three together I think it's going to be too chaotic but just for the sake of playing so all three of them I think definitely too much but I think where these two were like competing again they're both a bit too chaotic I wonder if just having the crow's magic with the mystic martian is maybe going to be more effective. 
got responsibility lessons and growing up with powerful dynamic ace of swords oh do you know what that's good for growing up the ace of swords and the six of swords navigate progress powerful dynamic responsibilities and growing up I like that and I think visually these compete less because these are a bit more um kind of simple with the black background I like these I like these a lot harmony protection idealism with the eight of coins and the ten of coins knowledge and insight on the one side and treasure and discovery on the other Andromedans autonomy free will and manifestation between I don't know how I keep pulling like these were both coins and these were both swords and now these are both ones um this is working spookily well uh, so yeah autonomy free will and manifestation with the queen of wands theorize and calculate and the knight of wands shapeshift and change Ooh, I like that a lot one more Movement, long distance, travel, and excitement with dedicated and adamant king of coins and success and rule, ace of wands. Hmm. Excitement, I see. Yeah, that doesn't work quite as well, but I did say one more, but I want to end on a good note. The wheel of fortune and the sun surrounding unconditional love, excitement, and laughter. I like that. And I like that visually as well. We've got these circles in all of them. Beautiful. Okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to play with with um the crow's magic. I can't think of anything else. That's a lie. Okay, I thought I was done, but I also want to see it next to you. Um, this is Natalie Hertz's Vampire Tarot because I think the kind of gothy vibes will work really well. Sun and the Ten of Cups, Page of Wands and the Magician. I think visually there's like similar colours going on. Oh, I like the way this tree kind of mirrors the like hair and the lovers. And again, like we've got this circle here and this circle here. I think these visually work really nicely together. Two of Coins and the Moon. They've both got that black background. They've both got quite like the, the backs as well. They're really good together. They've got a lot of red. Oh, I like these two together. The High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles. They've got like very kind of opposite color palettes. Then you've got like this circle mirroring this circle. And like, I like the way these two like pillars kind of mirror the border. <laughs> oh. Knight of Cups and Judgment. Yeah, I like these two. I promise I'm actually done with the crow's magic now, but I'm really excited to work with this. Really pleasantly surprised with um, how well it works with other decks that I've got. Okay, next up, this is the Rain Coast Tarot. So again, this is one I've wanted for absolutely ages. I'm gonna do the world's quickest flip through and then play with some more pairs. Um, I like this because it's a weird deck. Like we've got this little, like what's going on? It's very surreal. I love this magician. Oh, the backs are nice. Oh, this is just a really cool emperor with like the skeleton in his beard. I like how the lovers are braided together here with the hair. We've got the references to the original, oh, to the Rider Waite Smith. I like how many like details are in these cards. Like we've got like the person here, and, like in the tree here, and how these gravestones look a bit like kind of houses. That's a bit of a different star, isn't it? Pouring both, both kind of onto the ground and into the water instead of one and the other. I like this little hand reaching up in the moon. I like this ace of cups and the way the pattern on the cup looks like a skeletal hand, kind of like grasping. I don't know if that's what it's meant to look like. 
but it lends a fairly creepy air that I'm enjoying. I also like, we've got like bat wings and some kind of like crow's wing or something in the Two of Cups. I love this Two of Cups. I like this seven a lot. I've got like a figure here who also looks like a violin <laughs> with the, is that intentional? I mean, of course it's intentional. It was drawn, um, you know, it didn't happen by accident. I really like this cup suit a lot and you know if you saw my favourites from each suit videos you know that the cups is generally not my favourite suit. Our page. I love all the details going on like like we've got like this at the top of the card. This is a really really cool deck. I'm assuming this is our one suit. Yeah this is our one suit candles. These are not my favourite. That's an interesting take on the eight of wands. Usually like a like like fast moving message or something in here we've got what I assume to be like a death like figure and the way that these are like burning down. That's cool. It's a pretty straightforward ones type suit. I think the courts in this deck are so cool. I have been, I'm always intending, like, what is going on here? I'm always intending to work more, more intentionally with like the courts and really try and like get to grips with, oh, I love a tarot reading in a tarot deck. Um, but yeah, like get to grips with the courts more. But I think this might be, a very cool deck to do that with. Ooh, our sword scissors, red. That's a nice three of swords. That's an interesting like inverse on the traditional imagery. The swords again, like is, is fairly typical or like fairly Rider Waite Smith clony, I think. I'm not mad at it, but it's not as cool as the cup seat was. And again, some really cool courts. See, like, I feel like the, um, the miners in this, in this sword suit, and I think in the one suit as well, it's a bit, like, empty, and then the courts are really cool, and there's just, like, more going on. Love this queen. Got more violins in the queens. I wonder what that's about. And this, like, elvish-looking script on the king of swords' crown, and the ravens in the trees. And then our pentacles looks like it's way more detailed again. Like, why were the wands and the swords so empty looking? I love this pentacle suit, oh my goodness. I'm not sure it's speaking to right away smith meanings, and not especially, in, at, at least not in my mind, but I'm enjoying looking at it all the same, and I think I'm gonna really enjoy reading it. Like, there's so much detail in this pentacle suit, which is looking like the ace, which is cool, because I always think there's a lot of similarities between the, the pages and the aces. Our knight, our queen, and our king of pentacles. Okay, there's definitely fewer decks that jump to mind uh, for pairing the rain coast. I do want to try it with the Feldman sisters. Do I? It's like I don't think that strictly works. But there's something about the art style that's like, it's got that like surrealist, it's got that surrealist kind of quality to the compositions. But no, I don't think so. Ooh. No, I don't think that's doing it for me. Although that looks good together, I will say that much. Also got my Barbara Walker size discrepancy aside, I think is more promising. Oh, but they're not quite. Like this deck is so like reminiscent of other art styles to me, but like it's not. No, it's not coming together. 
Okay, and then I also, like I don't think this is gonna work, but I wanted to try it. Um, this is the uh, Tarot of the Crystal World, which is another Kickstarter deck I backed a while back. Don't need to. I'm like, I don't know, there's something, something in the, not in the art style, but in the like energy of the decks feels similar to me. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure if they feel like they work. This is a reasonably loyal Rider Waite Smith um, adaptation. Do you know what? It's the courts in this deck, or at least some of the courts, remind me of the style of the Rain Coast. I don't know if we'll. Actually, I think it's one specific court that is reminding me of the Rain Coast, and I'm not sure which one it is, so it may or may not come up. Yeah, I don't think this is working for me either. I feel like I absolutely should have decks that go with this deck, but nothing is, nothing's hitting right. That's nice, that I like, but I think it's just the colour palettes, which generally, it doesn't have a particularly similar colour palette across these two decks. I wouldn't say so. Yeah, so not that one. And I don't think I have anything else that feels like the Frank because like I say, I feel like I should. I should have. I feel like I have decks with a similar art style. But I I don't. That's simply not true. I've made that up. <laughs> oh, do you know what I want to try actually? Okay, so this is the Cosmic Slumber, which is a deck I have been trialing, trying and failing to get to work for me. I put it in an like deck declutter video that I did, and I recently brought it back out with my summer deck video to try and get it to be friends with me. Um, and, ooh, this is looking maybe a bit more promising. What do we think? Ooh, okay. I like the way the borders are similar. Again, the art style is is different, but in a way that I think like it works. Ooh, I like the facing opposite directions with the page of cups and the full. I struggle with this deck. I really struggle to read with it, but I wonder if pairing it with something is maybe maybe the answer. And they've both got A lot of a lot of Rider Waite Smith inconsistent imagery going on. Although, like, I felt like the wands and the swords, the wands and the swords in this deck are not my favorite. Mm, this might be the answer, you know. Oh, I like that—that that Queen of Swords and that Temperance. Oh, two of Pentacles, three of Cups. Maybe. Okay, I like these two. I think that works. I can't tell you exactly why, because the art styles are different in many ways. But I just don't, I don't think the art styles compete with each other. Oh, that's nice. Hang man and the hang man. Um, yeah. Like here, where we've got the same card. Do you know what I've noticed? This deck does a lot of because this looks like, like if you just look at the um, like the base of this tree. This is like oriented correctly, upside down, um, and I feel like this deck does a lot of that. This rain, the rain coast does a lot of like, um, like multi perspective almost. This is actually quite empty of symbol. This is one of my main complaints with the um, cosmic slumber. Um, I feel like it's quite empty of symbolism. So although like the art is like quite busy with the line work sometimes, um, 
like this is much more focused on the artwork whereas this has a lot going on in the images in a lot of the images anyway so i feel like that might work well and the five of swords yeah and hey look there's another matching one we've got the six and the six of pentacles and like again like this is fairly consistent with the right away smith imagery but like there's nothing extra going on whereas there's a lot extra going on in this six of pentacles here like i can't even can't begin to unwrap it and also i'm not sure how it conveys the six of pentacles i'm going to be honest but it is cool artwork but then this deck also doesn't convey the right away smith very well okay i'm gonna stop flipping through but i like these two together i think that's definitely something i'm gonna explore my third make playing cards deck what has happened to my camera angle my third make playing cards deck is also one i've wanted forever this is the hellenic oracle um made by thea garden goddess tarot um there is an expansion which i wanted but didn't get because my order was already quite expensive um and so i think if i find a lot of value in this then i will get the expansion i think the expansion is like monsters of greek mythology this is a greek mythology deck in case you're not familiar with it and you couldn't tell from zeus at the front um but yes this is a linen finish which is very exciting to me because oh that's a lovely lovely deck and this one's desperate to be given some like brownie tea stain looking edging isn't it so i'm not going to do a full flip through of this because this video is already going to be hugely long i might cut the flip throughs of the other two but i will like look at a few so my um the greek mythology knowledge is not as complete or as um complete's not the word extensive in depth as i would like it to be and i've wanted this for ages and yeah this is an oracle with um the greek and translated names of it's not just deities, is it? I'm um, using classical art. Of those deities. I think of those deities where possible. Maybe not all of them. Anyway, Thea has her own videos about this deck that she created, which um, definitely are more worth watching than me trying to attempt to explain it. So I won't. Okay, so I'm going to give this a shuffle real quick and then um, pair with some decks because if you are familiar with me and my channel, uh, you'll know that I really like a historical art looking deck. So I've got a few that I think are going to work quite nicely. Okay, so I basically pulled out my historical art style decks um, to do a bit of a comparison a little bit of pairing here. So this is the Golden Harrow by Cat Black, which I've trimmed. Um, and this, I think, mm, no, I think the art styles are too different. So this is a digital collage of like, I wanna say like late medieval, I can't remember, late medieval, early Renaissance art. Um, and I think, doesn't work next to the Hellenic Oracle. Yeah, I just don't think that works. Which makes me think my second choice, not second choice as in second best, just numerically second, <laughs> second um, selection. Uh, which is the influence of the angels tarot. Oh, this is a little bit better actually. Um, also, I quite like the the backs and the borders. Those go quite nicely. I think that works a little bit better because of the 
like period the art has been taken from. That maybe works a little bit better actually. Um, thematically completely different again but you know doesn't have to be doesn't have to be thematically similar. I say this I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use this deck so pairing it with a tarot might be completely fruitless. Ooh I like those two together. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, play with some pairs. Oh, I like these two visually, the blue and the blue, that's nice. Because I kind of got this to aid some Greek mythology study. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to implement that. But there we have it. I don't know if I have... Honestly though, Pandora with the Seven of Swords, I quite like that little pairing. Um, I feel like, because I don't know my Greek mythology super well, um, I like the visuals here though. I feel like pairing it with a tarot maybe doesn't make a lot of sense yet, but maybe at some point it will. Unless I, I don't think I have a very Greek mythology heavy tarot deck. But I know they exist out there, so maybe that would be the that would be the thing to do, would be to get a very Greek mythology focused tarot to read with the Hellenic Oracle. Ooh, do you know what? This I think will work beautifully visually. So this is my gorgeous wrap. Uh, this is my Terra Volatile, my beloved. My beloved Terra Volatile tarot deck, which, can we just have a moment for the backs? They're both linen finish as well. I think aesthetically, this is gonna work. But again, whether it's actually valuable to me to read tarot alongside a Greek deck that I'm not uh, very familiar with is up for debate. But yeah, that works nicely. This is, again, this is like digital collage, whereas this is just paintings. Um, the Oracle of the Oracle, the Angels Tarot. What on earth is it called? The Influence of the Angels Tarot. That's another like digital collage out of existing artwork. Um, and this is. I'm not actually sure what this is. I'm assuming this is digital collage out of existing artwork and drawn elements. But I'm honestly, I'm honestly not certain. But I like this a lot. Again, visually, I don't know exactly how. Um, Useful it would be to read with these two together. Arachne and the Sun. Chiron and the Chiron and the Hermit. That I like. That I like a lot. So yeah, maybe when I know this deck a little bit better. Okay, but the first one that sprung to mind, and thus the one I've done last, which makes no sense. This is the Tower of Aphrodite, because of course, um, Aphrodite is a Greek goddess, and there are nods to that throughout this deck, but also the, um, art, the art style is similar in that both decks are using like full paintings as opposed to digital collage. They're similar in that sense. This obviously is very pink and pretty. This is a bit more kind of overall grungy feeling. Um, and this does use some, like I recognize some images that I've seen in this one that were also used in this deck. So it'll be interesting when those comparisons come up. Aesthetically, I'm, I'm not convinced this works because this is so pretty and pink. But like here we have like the birth of Venus. And there's a card called Dave, um, the Empress in this deck is Aphrodite and the Emperor is Ares and like the fates for the Wheel of Fortune. So there are definitely more nods to the Greek mythology in this deck. And so I had to put them next to each other. Ooh, these work very nicely visually, these paintings. But I think the kind of format of the cards, like this borderless versus the borders here doesn't work quite so well. This is nice as well actually, these two together. But yeah, I think more miss than hit. 
for the Aphrodite with the Hellenic. Okay, I think that's everything I can think to pair with the Hellenic Oracle. Again, I don't think this is one I actually want to use with a tarot for the time being at least. And I don't think I have any other Oracle decks that it would make sense to pair with in my collection. So that is a Hellenic Oracle. And then while digging through my decks, I've come across another one that I kind of want to put next to the Rain Coast, I think. Um, no, that's not going to work though. Maybe the Crow's Magic. So this is the uh, Dream Vision Parrot. Mm. You know what? I don't know. What do we think? It's not an immediate no, but I don't think it strictly works. You know? Although I like the kind of shapes that are mirrored here. That's nice. The shapes that are mirrored here. Page of Cups and the Hermit. This is actually quite a hermity Page of Cups. Um, and cups and the King of Pentacles. Like, it's not the worst tarot combo. It's not the best. I adore this Queen of Swords, I really do. Yeah. Do you know what? Just because it's got this like airbrush style. I really want to also put it next to the Crow's Magic. Oh, my battery's going, no. <laughs> okay, so we've got Ace of Cups and Six of Pentacles. I think visually this works a lot better than the Rancos did for sure. Okay, my battery is flashing at me, so definitely got to make this quick. 10 and the 10. It doesn't not work. Again, I'm not sure it strictly works. I think the colour part, oh, I don't know though, maybe it does. Maybe if we like, see like that I like. Maybe. Maybe that. See, when I frame them, that makes more sense because there's so much contrast in the kind of colour palettes. Yeah, that might work better. Okay, my battery is shouting at me, so I am going to leave this video here. This is going to be an unboxing. It turned into more of a playing with pairs. I have fully like an hour and a half of the half of footage, so I have no idea what is going to end up going up, but... I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and for spending some time with me. Let me know if you have these decks that I've recently acquired, what you pair them with. If you pair your decks at all, I would be really interested to know. Uh, so yes, give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.